Some very concerning rumors, if true, coming out of the uh, jury room via, well, just one source, but in general, a very reliable source that makes me extraordinarily concerned. We've already seen in this case that there was somebody filming them. That is intimidation. We saw, what was it, the cousin or the brother of the uh, saint um, from Minneapolis. He was recording himself talking about getting people's names and outing them. Well, uh, there's a new rumor that just came out. And by the way, at 5 p.m., which it's 5.20 now here in uh, Wisconsin time, um, I'm about 20 minutes away, um, the judge was supposed to pull the jurors and see if they wanted to keep going uh, for the night or to wrap it up. Uh, as of right now, the rumor is um, that there won't be any decision tonight. If there is, you'll get a grainy cell phone video from me from an undisclosed location um, trying to break it down. Um, right now, what's the latest? Well, I want to talk about the most concerning thing first, and that is uh, this rumor that two jurors are holding up the decision outright citing backlash per a U.S. Marshal in Kenosha. Now, there is some doubt. You know, this is such a tight case. How did um, people, how did this get out? I don't know. But what I would tell you is, if this is true, then that probably means 10 people want to acquit. Because that's the only scenario that you're worried about backlash in. Because it's only one side of the aisle here that will ruin somebody's life uh, if you make a decision that they don't like. Um, remember, these people live in the area. Um, there are people in the courtroom that probably know them. They've been videotaped. They they know they were videotaped. Um, it's I mean, These are just regular people. They're afraid. I think the final jury was like seven women um, and five men or something like that. Um, not that men, women are more predisposed to fear, but um, perhaps intimidation works more on them. I don't know. I've seen some tough old birds, too, I suppose. This is extremely concerning. More, he continues, worried about the media leaking their names, what will happen to their families, jobs, etc. Well, here's an interesting bit of legal information. A lot of people think, well, why can't we just replace those two if they... You know, they, they aren't going to do their job, essentially. And it's easy for us on the outside um, to say, hey, well, I would just do my job. I understand that. And I feel like I would, too. But I have a lot less to lose. I'm a YouTuber. They aren't leaving Yelp reviews for me or calling my place of business and, and uh, saying I'm horrible things and creating a situation where it's easier for my job to fire me than it is for them to defend me. Um, it's it's. It's a very real concern. Um, he also adds that include doxing threats from anarchist groups. I don't know who that would necessarily be. I assume that's the uh, super soilgers. Um, and now we we already knew at five o'clock this is what was going to happen. That Judge Schroeder said he was going to pull the jurors. Do we know anything from today? Well, that's for tomorrow's stories. Well, I can tell you this. Oh. I didn't complete my point. I'm so very sorry. Those two jurors cannot just be replaced by backup jurors, from what I understand. From what I understand, after listening to a lawyer explain it, um, that is that they're there if like people get sick or something like that. They can't just say, hey, this person is um, not making the decision based on the facts of the case, but they're worried about potential backlash. Sub somebody in doesn't work that way, which to me seems odd. I'm not a lawyer, obviously, but um, it would seem that you would want the ability to do that. If you knew that there was a, like a poisoned well in there, somebody that like admits to other jurors that, hey, I'm, I'm not interested in the facts of this case. I'm going to lean one way or the other, right? He mentions a snipe, the Snipes case or whatever, um, where Allegedly, jurors had admitted to having some preconceived bias to other jurors. This eventually got leaked to the judge, but the judge couldn't do anything about it. That's via attorney Richard Barnes. So, you know, 
I don't know him at all. I know that there's been some controversy around his name, but that's all I know. Um, and as we look at today, people are already um, gathering outside in Kenosha. Now, one thing that is an advantage is if you don't live here, um, it's about, and you don't know, it's about 20 degrees outside, 25 degrees. That's not really conducive to rioting. You got to really want it. Um, there's this old story that somebody told me um, about uh, why they came up with Summerfest in Milwaukee. And it was some, some, I don't know if this is true or not, but it was about reducing crime because it was hot out and people didn't have anything to do in the city. So they came up with Summerfest um, and it worked, allegedly. Um, but I could tell you this, it's cold outside. Um, and you're not going to have any, um, like, people traveling long distances to stand outside all night long. It's just not happening. It's very, I mean, 30 degrees isn't that cold, but I live here. Um, what I'm worried about is people that are coming from not around here. Um, and you see, uh, this says here, as the sun is setting, protesters continue to await. The well, sun, you, have, you have pictures here. You've got, this is not much of a crowd. This is 20 people. Okay, maybe 30 all in. Um, a couple of super soldiers, but there's also people there um, counter protesting, which is, I guess, good to see. Uh, you see the uh, no justice, no peace, uh, and then they're um, calling these people heroes. Apparently, the super soldiers think a man that spent time with a young child and another man who um, hit his grandmother and did other terrible things, they're heroes. It's like they're so addicted to the cause that they can't even bother to pick their spots. I don't know if all these people are, you know, glowing or what the situation is. Um, but I don't know how you come to this conclusion. Here's a funny one outside the courthouse. While the jury deliberates, there's a confrontation. Um, there's somebody here calling like, uh, St. BLM, uh, backs the P words. Now, don't bring your dog, man. Don't bring your puppy unless he's uh, going to defend you. That just looks like an old, old-timer old Labrador to me. So I'm not sure. But here's what you get from the tolerant left. They're out there beating their drums, literally, and using megaphones. And then what happens? This clown wants to act a fool. I mean, you from here? Are you from here? He's not like yelling BLM. He's saying, uh, you know, he's here in confrontations. I would hope that you would hear that, the, you know, where's the National Guard? You know, these clowns don't know anything about the case, but they're downtown. Um, you know, this channel raised a lot of money to rebuild one of the locations. Right now, the courtroom is still empty. Uh, I don't think. Well, put it this way. We're not going to get a verdict tonight, I don't believe, unless, for example, the jury is right on it and they're, and they're like, okay, let's announce because you got to get everybody back. Um, you know, you got to get every ba everybody back into the room. You've got to read it. I don't think we're going to see one tonight, but I'm extremely, extremely concerned if what they say, if the rumor is true that they aren't... Um, that they're afraid to acquit him. They wouldn't be afraid to not acquit him. We know which who's going to riot and who's not going to. Although I would argue that, you know, people who want an acquittal might show up too. And then we saw obviously today, um, by the way, Jump Kick Man, uh, one of the people in the video, was identified today. So I wonder if we'll see um, some charges come his way. What I'm interested to see, you know, from you all in the comment section down below is, you know, how... How do you think this is going? I thought that we would have an answer by now. I did not think it would take an entire day to deliberate this. However, there are numerous charges on the table, and maybe there's somebody in there who just really wants to go through um, and do their job right. What I'm concerned with is, you know, the jury out there it, hearing people you know, with their megaphones and hearing them and, and allowing that to sway their opinions. I totally understand why they might be scared. But if that's the case and there's no 
mediation for that, then this has to be a mistrial with prejudice, meaning you cannot retry him. That motion for mistrial, from what I understand, is still on the table, too. So this is very interesting to watch. Pretty disappointed um, that these clowns are showing up in my state. Um, I'm hoping no matter what their verdict is, we don't involve have more situations rise. Although um, I am sincerely going to be um, concerned if this is not an acquittal on all counts because um, I'm very, very worried about any potential, you know, the rumor of any potential jury um tampering, which is exactly what, in my opinion, we saw in other high profile cases. It's very difficult to kind of just, um, you know, ignore it all. And if you're one of those regular people, then filming the jury worked. If they really are afraid to quote unquote, do their job, then filming them worked. And it's, it's very, very frustrating. Uh, they must acquit him. Um, remember, uh, what is it? What's the saying? Hocus pocus out of focus that you must acquit. That doesn't really quite work if the glove don't fit. It's not as good as that. But uh, this is very concerning. I'll keep you updated as more information comes. Make sure you click the red subscribe button here and um, so you get notified when I upload. Maybe we'll have another video a little bit later tonight. We'll talk to you uh, again real soon.